My name is Bevan McKinley, and my most memorable moment as a peace builder was hearing the news of the IRA ceasefire in August 1994. Obviously, I wasn't key to any of this, being only 11 at the time. But it is most memorable for me as this was when I saw firsthand the power that even just the possibility of peace brings into a family and into a home. I recall sitting in my grandparents' house watching some kids' programme when it was interrupted with a news flash. I didn't really know at that age what this announcement was or even really what it was about, but I knew it must be important. I called my mother, who came, and then she called my aunt and my grandparents. And I watched as they watched the news come through that the IRA had declared a ceasefire. In those moments, I remember seeing and sensing the faces and the fairy bodies of those adults around me changing. There was a buzz of energy, an almost euphoric feeling. I didn't realise then, but what I recognise now was that for those who only a few years before had lost a family member to the conflict here, the announcement was so significant. And again, while I couldn't describe it then, I appreciate now that what I was picking up from their reactions to that very announcement was both relief and release, and a fear being replaced by hope. That was what I look back and I see come into our home that day, and I'm sure into many others too. I didn't realise until recently how this actual moment shaped me both as a person and as a peace builder. From this, I feel as a peace builder, it is my duty to ensure that the hard won peace brought about by those whose shoulders I stand on does not quietly slip away.